It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go. So here are the Texans to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll have a first down past the 40. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, he's talking about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. On first and ten, Watson. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. Another... Nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll try and run. This is Johnson, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. From the two now, second and goal. 59. To throw is Watson. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? A shotgun snap for Watson. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. No one attempted or made more field goals in Fairbairn last year. He was 37 of 42. And they were grateful for every one of those that put three points on the board. But I guarantee you, Bill O'Brien, the head coach, is thinking to himself, we need to use them a lot less in 2019. Let's make sure we score some more touchdowns. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Shotgun now for Carr. Man open left side. It's Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. 
But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Carr completes it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I can't believe they even let you play. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Carr. And he finds Stills complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Carr now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll make it second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll toss it to Crowell. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Isaiah Crowell. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are back within a single score. And they're able to... And oh, it's blocked. The Texans have got it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We got it. We got it. Well, times have definitely changed on the, on the PAT on the extra point, haven't they? A lot more effort goes into this play from both sides. Because yeah, let's face it, a lot of time on extra points, the effort is not what it is when you're trying to block a field goal. No, no doubt about it. Before, when the ball was snapped on the two-yard line, it was really a virtual chip shot. Now everyone believes they can get to it and knock it away. And we know how crucial every point is. So the defensive guys, there's been a lot more time trying to get that done, which means there's more pressure on the offensive guys trying to kick it. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys won. get the football back the Raider offense set to get this drive started now after the INT it's Carr wide open receiver complete and way up past the 35 before he's taken down the end result 21 yards Carr now, a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. To throw his car. Powers through. A very good gain on first down. Nine yards on the dump off. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. This is Crowell. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Side, Williams 
And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 27-yard line. On first and 10, here's Carr. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Jad Debbie and Clowney, and it'll be a second and long. Now Carr. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. They'll try to run for it with Corral. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. Hey, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And last time wasn't pretty. One play had an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the... ...the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Out of the gun, Watson. And that is incomplete. The coverage that time, excellent by Nevin Lawson. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. J.J. Watt in there for the... Sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint, as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Derek Carr, three fourth quarter comebacks for the Raiders last year, and they only won four games total, so they've got some experience dealing with tight ones. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. 
And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play, but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. And they insert their dime package, six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Open man is Anderson. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. On the draw, Rashard, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. On second and 11 now. Carr, it's caught by Crowell. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, it's Carr. He's airing it out for Williams. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy. Four about in a game. Three, yeah, about the four in a game. Four times 162. Three, or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on 